My name is Graham Strube and I'm an ENT resident at the University of Washington and today I'm going to teach you how to throw a one-handed surgeon's knot, which was taught to me by Dr. Scott Bevins, one of our former head and neck fellows. This knot is essentially a left and right-handed one-handed simultaneous knot. So you will need to have mastered uh, both left and right-handed one-handed knots. To illustrate a standard surgeon's knot using a two-handed technique, uh, one passes the suture twice through the same loop to create a double throw. This throw will hold tension on a wound when needed. But the two-handed technique can be cumbersome and slow, and if you've perfected right and left-handed one-handed knots, you can combine the two to do a very smooth surgeon's knot. The knot is comprised of a backhand, right-handed, one-handed knot, and you can use two fingers to do that. Alternatively, you can backhand a one-fingered, right-handed knot, and at the same time, you will throw a four-handed, left-handed, one-handed knot, which is illustrated here. Again, you should have practiced uh, both left and right handed one handed knots for this. The forehand motion is the typical crossover and pull through with the left hand. So, to perform the one handed surgeon's knot, starting in this position, the lower string in the right hand, the upper string in the left hand, I'll illustrate with two fingers first. You can do it with one or two. But I begin the knot using a two fingered backhand motion with the right hand. And this would be the typical portion that I would cross over and pull my middle thing finger through the loop. So that's the first motion. Again, crossing over, bringing my middle finger through. And this is going to create another triangle for which to throw the forehanded motion with the left hand that I'll illustrate here between my ring finger of the right hand and the skin. Again, I'm doing that motion, and you can see that this will create another triangle between my right ring finger and the skin, and I'm going to use my index finger of the left hand to come across that string and bring the other part of the suture through that loop. And that essentially will create the second throw that completes the surgeon's knot. Now using the same principle, you can do this with one finger in the right hand. Again, the same crossover motion. You'll be using one finger on each hand to throw both knots simultaneously. So again, the right finger comes towards yourself, the left finger goes away. This creates two vertices through which you can rotate. Now, at this point, you may have difficulty maintaining contact with the suture. So you need to think in your head that your left hand goes towards 12 o'clock, your right hand comes back towards 6 o'clock, and this will put the suture in a position for your thumbs to make contact, and then you'll be able to complete the throw. A little more quickly, again, it's a one-handed knot towards yourself with the right hand, and a one-handed knot away from yourself with the left hand. Again, one-handed knot with the right hand backwards and a forehand left-handed knot with the left hand. Putting these together at the same time, again pulling towards yourself with the right hand, pulling away from yourself with the left hand, a right-handed and a left-handed knot simultaneously pulling away from yourself, and then that enables you to lay it down. And then you can finish the knot as you see fit. And then full speed. Again, full speeded knot. And that completes the one-handed surgeon's knot. Thank you everybody and thank you to Scott Bevins.